No more. <laughs> What's this? But I played it in block. Drinking from a running faucet is the closest thing to sipping straight from a stream many house cats have the opportunity to do. This behavior could also be a sign that a cat's water bowl is dirty, leading them to seek alternatives. With some cats, it may even simply be that they've observed their owners getting their water from the faucets and they're mirroring the observed behavior. Other cats have a somewhat annoying preference to knock their water Can I survive here? A view for me. Other cats move on, just stick their tongues out a little in response. Hold your tweet. This is very surprising indeed. Wow. The back, they cross the three frequencies that humans you just can't pick up. When someone screams the phone like in those clips, the air frequencies are made it beyond our hearing that appear very loud to cats. But the sound isn't just annoying. It appears to trigger an internal response that could be dangerous if overdone. As these higher frequency sounds are usually associated with cats' prey, when heard in a non-hunting context, like when sitting comfortably inside their home, it could lead to confusion, irritation, gagging, and worse. A 2016 study in the Journal of Feline Medicine and Surgery found that when some cats hear high frequency sounds of this kind, which also include wrestling aluminum foil or plastic bags, Yeah, this isn't the case for cats. 
Other thing, cats are able to see things from a distance that we're totally unable to pick up on, such as tiny grenades and specks of dust. That could explain their capture and their attention, although the source of their interest may not always be visible. As art services, particularly in the corners of rooms with places effectively, that's what I can do. What do I even look like when I do? Be a distant screwy mouse or someone wrestling a bag of kitty kibble. Corner seat is not a lot of persons. Or players. A lot. By bits, I says. One of the trademark you get your behaviors of our feline friends is something by the phrase, if I can't see What this means, of course, is that cats have a tendency to sit in spaces that to a human might seem very fancy. Often the hilarious effect. The reason cats do this is that this is adorable and it's the pictures of them in the air. Small enclosed spaces and baskets, boxes, and containers make cats feel safe and secure. This comes from an instinctual desire to protect them and conceal them, as their own ancestors would have been vulnerable to threats like predatory birds when out in empty spaces. Hiding in these tight covered spaces also appears to cats' predatory handlers' instincts as a good hiding spot in most of stealthy attacks, too. Well, what about when cats sit on things that are being used, most of them are using their hands? Where did he go? Oh, okay. Where did he go? Where's the one with the VIP? I forgot what the name was. Likewise, on a very hot day, you may find your cat making himself a scene for an So it was. 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 So by now, most people are seeing videos of cats freaking out when objects like cucumbers are sneakily placed in them. A popular online theory for why cats are so frightened in these videos is that they mistake the cucumbers for snakes, but in all likelihood, the theory is so specific. After all, domestic cats like snakes and various kinds of cats, they don't want to give that they have an essential fear of the reptile. Why? Instead, the most likely thing is that cats see the cucumbers and other familiar spots in places where they don't need to be on their guard. Why can't we just get up there? <laughs> Why can't we just get up the ladder? Unless you're a hacker, you can go for it. Cats, 
Richard, I'm already his friend. Yeah. I wanna double check. What? Yep, he's a VIP guy. He got a VIP. I really don't have the VIP. Idiot. So dark, you need to turn on the torch. Oh, finally. I finally get to see the monster. Oh, I can't go in there anymore. Once the demon is born. Oh. Oh, my HP is a bit low. Should take some breaths. is green. The trees are green of course. Okay. 
Lucky fell off. Can we go into the elevator? Oh, we did. I'm getting so much fun now. Like, how many things that you need? Okay. What is on top of oh down laminated timber and blue metal. The material offers a number of advantages. First, its high ratio of strength to weight means mass timber structures are lighter than steel or concrete structures of comparable size. But they're just as I can't get oh, there's also a lighter load put on the foundation, which translates to less I got to an area where you can't loss. even go. Second, Bodhi can't go here, I can't go. He can't? He can't. Just gonna go behind the elevator. This is my second time hiding behind this elevator with Bodhi's gear. What? Yeah, of course I am. Did you know? Extensive testing has proven that mass timber, and in particular CLT, the same requirements as steel and concrete. to design creative and bold new structures. If you like this video and want to see more, in addition to Blue Bean video resources, please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to our channel. You hear that? No, 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 no. One. There's the elevator on here. Eric the Pesto.
go here. I can't really go in there. I can't really. You can't actually. I'm gonna hide from that door. Someone might come from that door. Oh. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. 
friend. Let's see. Ask friend. What are you guys doing here? Go away. Back my way.
I'm climbing. My HP is low too, you know. Huh, that I don't, that was not expected. Now I can't climb the roof anymore. What do you want me to feel bad? I should die by the way. Look, I'm dead, but...